So the customer came to us and was looking for some help to, uh, to help them in a few areas. One was cost, obviously. The other one they were having issues with is a labor issue. They didn't have enough welders uh, due to the tight labor market, so they needed to be able to take some of the labor out of their products. And they approached us to help convert a number of these weldments on this assembly into castings. So in this case, we took six different weldments. This one here, there, 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 and the back one, and this one. And we converted them into castings for them. These are all made on green sand machines. They are all ductile iron. We do the machining and obviously the casting. And uh, we've done some neat things. We've added a lot of strength to the parts. As you can take a look and see, you know, the comparison between these two parts, obviously a lot stronger over here. Uh, one of the side benefits was just a much more engineered, uh, heavy-duty look that the customer was looking for, and was sort of an unexpected byproduct of the whole the whole deal. Um, some of the unique features of casting is being able to cast in these bolt head holders, so that an assembler doesn't have to have a wrench or a, a socket on each end. You can just work on this side. Uh, we did that in a number of places. The weldment had those as well, but it's a lot more complicated to do it on a weldment than it is just to cast it straight into the um, into the casting parts. Because we made the unit stronger, we added some weight here, which is actually beneficial in this application. The customer needed a certain amount of weight. They were currently doing it by just adding weights onto the top. By putting by beefing up these parts, we not only uh, strengthened them, to make sure that we didn't have breakage, but also added weight where it's really needed, which is right here in the ground engagement area of that of that piece.